Pizza time! Welcome back, everybody, to Pizza Time. We are going to have to get some pecan flavored candy. Yoink. And find Max here a bathroom. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky You for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me. What can I do for you? I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. What that is, is it's a Will car bomb game. It's very similar to Battleship. Also take these disgusting pecan treats. Anything else? My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned. I need a bathroom. They're in the back. Here's the key. It's an awfully big rasp attached to that keychain. Out of toilet paper? Nah, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. The keys? The restrooms. You need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle it myself, Sam. Yeah, I'd hope now, so. Anything else I can do for you? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. I'm sure. Okay, so we have our pecan candies, and Max is going to use the bathroom here. What we have to do is we have to stop him before he gives the keys back. Max! Are you as confused as I am? More so. Fair enough. I think we should keep the rasp. You're probably right. No one deserves to use restrooms that clean. Well, that's all. Alright, so we got our pecan candy. And, oh, wait a minute. I also have that hand in the jar. And if I remember correctly, we have to get this guy to open it for us. Saves us some time later. Hey, can you open this for me? Sure, ain't a jar made I can't open. Damn! Hey, I think that was the sound from the ant hill earlier. Or ant farm, I should say. Okay, back to the carnival. Now, I always thought this was really spooky as a kid. I mean, look at it. You got a devil, you got some weird angel cupid baby things. Yippee! Not exactly the uh, most pleasant imagery. I think I still have to use Max to get back into the room. Oh, no, I don't. Sweet. Good. Alrighty. Thank you, LucasArts. Okay. I hate pecan flavored candy. Me too. Don't think I've actually had any. Uh, in real life, actually. Let's give him to this mole dude. Here, I thought you might like some candy. Thanks. The god's my favorite. God only knows hey, why. You're all right. Take this key as a token of my appreciation. Wow, this is some key. Okay, Sam, let's get the hell out of here. It's actually a crowbar. Wait, I've got a great story you should hear. Ah. Oh. Keep it short, kid. My partner's got a low tolerance for long stories. Well, it all started the day before today. I remember it like it was yesterday. You don't say. It's not widely known, but Trixie had fallen in love with Bruno. Aww. Every night, she'd sneak into the freak show tent and read to him what she imagined to be his favorite bedtime stories. That's not creepy at all. She is a giraffe lady, and he's a Bigfoot. She seemed as happy as a self-mutilated parody of nature could be. Isn't that classic? Shakespeare. 
but she can never truly be happy until her beloved Bruno is free. Finally, she decided to do something about Bruno's predicament. She begged Flambe, the fire breather, to free the Bigfoot from his icy cage. Yoga Flame! Betty on poor Trixie and liberated Bruno. But the happy couple haven't been seen since. Hell of a story, ain't it? Uh huh. Well, let's get the hell out of here. I have enough of this guy's crap. Okay. Now we can get into that trailer we saw earlier. Oh, wait. I think we need this lens, too, by the way. Always try to get everything that's not nailed down. I have a general rule of thumb in these games, although there are some exceptions, especially in Sierra games. Which, um... If I ever get around to playing some hey, of those, they're very brutal. Watch very this. unforgiving. You can get stuck a lot. Nice! Well, this is undignified. Oh boy! Okay, let's try in the closet. Uh it's a big closet. Trixie's a big girl. Nothing wrong with big girls, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's check this out. It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Ruby Eyes, Florida. What do you know? I used to live in Florida. Anything in here? Hey, there's a neat costume in here. Okay, I think that's all we need. Alright, Max. That's enough fun. Okay. Did the freak tent talk to the mole guy? Went in there. Let's ride this cone here, shall we? Hey, tattoo boy. What? Me and my partner want to ride the cone of tragedy. Oh boy. That's right. We've lost our will to live. I'm not supposed to, but what the heck? You two look like a couple of caring, non-litigious mammals. Thanks. Wrap yourselves in, and I'll turn on the cone. Damn right you will. That reminds me of a dude you might see in full throttle or something. Oh god. We. I hate fair rides, by the way. Uh, they have a fair where I live in the summer, and the last time I went, I almost got a concussion on one of the rides. I swear to God. Oh yeah, and I lost a uh, something that was in my uh, pockets, too. Never found it. So, yeah. Should have done what you have to do in this game, and go to the lost and found. Because as we're about to see... Ooh, I feel tragically empty. Me too. It's as though an integral part of my essence has been ripped from my being. And you might be right, Sam, because later, Sam. as you can see... Hey, what happened to my carefully collected box of useless junk? Well, damn it, we'll have to find out. Will you help me? Depends. What do you want? Where'd all my cool junk go? It must have fallen out of your coat while you were on the ride. Here's a claim ticket. Take it to the lost and found. Okay. So we have to go to the lost and found, which I don't know how that would just magically end up there, because I didn't see anyone take anything, but eh, whatever. This music is very hypnotic if you listen to it too long. Yoga! Alright, let's go in here. Holy cripes on toast! Nothing personal, but you're the single ugliest thing we've ever seen. Well, there was that computer game developers conference. <laughs> Have you lost something? I lost a whole bunch of neat junk. 
You must have been gifted with psychic powers to make up your obvious physical shortcomings. Bad deal. Good have lord. You got a claim ticket? Sure. Wait here while I look through the back room. The back room? stuff we've collected off the cone of tragedy today. It's all yours. I feel whole again. Alright. We got everything, but we got a fish magnet too. I don't remember that being there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Alrighty, so we are going to go I guess to the ball of twine or maybe to the gator place first. I don't know which. But we'll find out in the next episode. <laughs>